the Visitor Center main campus, we want to thank you for joining us on this special look at the past, present, and future of Kennedy Space Center. As America's foremost multi-user spaceport, KSC is poised to provide the technologies and expertise necessary to launch a new era in space exploration. As you have learned during the course of your tour, space is also fast becoming a viable place for private industry to invest money, time, and effort right alongside the federal government. More businesses are entering the space arena, helping to stimulate demand for space access more than ever. NASA's commercial partners, who are working to provide cargo delivery and crew transportation to and from the station, are also gaining valuable experience needed to open new markets for satellite salvage and repair and space tourism. Ultimately, everything we learn from operating in low Earth orbit will make it possible for crews to safely travel beyond Earth orbit to the Moon, an asteroid, and Mars. Coming soon, another important mission to Earth orbit is the delivery of NASA's James Webb Space Telescope the scientific successor to both the Hubble Space Telescope and the Spitzer Space Telescope. The James Webb has two main scientific goals. Studying the birth and evolution of galaxies and learning about the formation of stars and planets. Some of the most distant objects in the universe, beyond the reach of current ground and space-based instruments, will be seen by this telescope, including the formation of galaxies. Built on a successful 50-year legacy of discovery and exploration, the John F. Kennedy Space Center, America's multi-user spaceport, is poised to serve as humankind's gateway to space for decades to come. Thank you for spending time with us, and please enjoy the remainder of your experience here at the Kennedy Space Center Visitor Complex. Center room. And if you come out, you're going to be under the rocket. The Saturn V, there was three left over, 18, 19, and 20. Those were the flight numbers. 18's in Huntsville, Alabama, 19's in Houston, Texas, 20 is over here. The van took the astronauts to the van to the pad, that's in there. Fleets from the transporters. They have a moon rocket here brought back on Apollo 17 by Gene Simmons. Check it out. It's in a kiosk, you can't decide to touch it, tell if you touch the moon, and now we can. And in the spacesuit, Jim Level 1, Apollo 13, that's in there. The one that Tom Hanks used, we did the movie, Apollo 13. You're going into a $37 million space museum. Now, in this building, there's a room, it's called the vault. It looks like a great big, huge main vault door. Make sure you go in that room, because in there is a kiosk. Now, Kitty Hawk was Alan Shepard's command module. Alan Shepard flew in when he went to the moon. Alan Shepard was the only one of the original seven astronauts. Went to the moon, walked on the moon, and guess what? Alan Shepard hit golf balls on the moon. NASA said he hit two golf balls. His daughter said, no, my dad hit three. So I kind of believe her. Never tell him my name of the golf balls. They wanted to come using them for publicity. The golf club he used on Luna set in the St. Augustine, Florida, did the Golf Hall of Fame. The space suit he wore is in here. Look for it. It's got his name on it, Shepard. And look at his boots and his pants legs are all dirty. They won't let us clean it because it's not Earth dirt. It's moon dirt. We hit the golf balls on the moon.
Ladies and gentlemen, very obviously ahead of us here, you can see where the home of Atlantis is. She is sitting in the building here as if she's flying in space. Atlantis, Atlantis flew 33 missions, 33 missions. Also inside the Atlantis building, you have the memorials for Challenger and for Columbia. And you do not want to miss seeing Atlantis. Folks, please don't miss seeing Atlantis while you're here. successful 50-year legacy of discovery and exploration, the John F. Kennedy Space Center, America's multi-user spaceport, is poised to serve as humankind's gateway to space for decades to come. Thank you for spending time with us, and please enjoy the remainder of your experience here at the Kennedy Space Center Visitor Complex.